Geeks, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to do a updated download and install of Inkscape and Inkstitch for 2022. So stick around to see how we do it. So we've done a video like this before. We went over how to download and install Inkstitch and a little beginner's guide, so you can check out that video here. But since we've made that video, it's a lot easier to install Inkstitch. Yeah, the programmers at Inkstitch have made it much easier to install into your Inkscape than it was when we did that video. So we're gonna open up Terminal and copy the code from the website into Terminal. So mm -hmm. it's kind of really automated and made the whole process much more streamlined. So the versions of Inkscape and Inkstitch we're going to be downloading is Inkscape version 1.2. And Inkstitch version 2.1.2. Mm -hmm. Should we get to it? Let's go. All right, so we're here on our desktop and it's helpful before you start the process to figure out which operating system you're on. So for a Mac, if you click on the little Apple and go to About This Mac, you can see what your operating system. So you can see we're on Big Sur. 11.6.7. So that's going to be helpful later. So now we're going to go to Safari and go to Inkscape.org. And it's important when you're installing Inkscape and Inkstitch that you install Inkscape first. We'll go to Download, Current Version, go to your operating system, and then if you're running a new M1 chip or M2 chip, you can select this one here. Or if you're on an older Mac and using an Intel chip, you'll click this one. Your download automatically starts and hit allow. You can check the status of your download here. And if you feel like donating to Inkscape, you can click the donate button here. Next, we're going to find our file in our downloads folder. Open it up. And then all we have to do is drag this Inkscape into our applications folder here. And now that your Inkscape is in your applications folder, we like to drag it onto our little toolbar down here so that we can have easy access to it. Because we use it quite often. And we like to choose the dark mode. And there you go. We have the latest version of Inkscape. Now, Megan, would you like to run them through how to download and install Inkstitch? Okay. So first, you're going to want to go to Inkstitch. And then you're going to go to Installation. And we're running a Mac OS, but if you're running one of these, that's where you would go. Back up. So now we're a Big Sur. So we're going to want to go here. And that's why we had us look up yeah. what our operating system was before. And obviously you'd want to allow downloads on Inkstitch. You'd want to click it open. And then you'd want to continue. And then you're going to want to hit install. And you're going to want to close. So there are some helpful notes down here about installation, specifically with which um, version of Inkscape you have to have in order to run this version of Ink Stitch. So you have that there. It's very helpful in running you through the installation process, which we just showed you. 
and even shows you how to open it. So let's go ahead and do that, Meg. Make sure you shut down Inkscape and restart. Mm -hmm. And then you go to Extensions, and then you have Ink Stitch. So why don't we try it out, Megan, and do, I don't know, some lettering. Extensions, Ink Stitch, Lettering. And then I'll just type some text. Honestly, I like this font, but there's a bunch of other ones here. Wow, they have a lot of new ones. And then you can just press Apply and Quit. And it'll show up on the top of your box. Just gonna do shift white so you can see it better. There we have it. Do some prints. Yeah. And just check it. See how it looks in prints. And if you want to do any adjustments to this lettering, we have a video on prints. Easy as that. from downloading this software. So what is it? Well, the biggest lesson learned that we have is making sure you download the right version of Inkscape and InkStitch for your hardware and software. So you, it's really important to know what kind of processor you have now that Mac has uh, multiple options if you're using a Mac. And of course, if you're running Windows, knowing which uh, operating system you're on to download the right files. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.